Okay, so Dungeon Dash is a n relatively new game that came out with Daily Dare. Uh, you have a choice between two characters, Abigail on the left and AAA on the right. Abigail's the easier one. She can jump higher, but we're going to do this with AAA instead. The first level is based off Snow Muncher. There are two tools we'll come across in this level. The shovel, which we'll use by pressing X whenever there's a block in the way, and the bubble, which we actually won't use till the next level. Uh, we're also going to use the space bar whenever we want to jump over something. This level's really straightforward. Okay, so you can he see here that there's a wall in the way, so this is somewhere we'll want to use a shovel. Right about where I'm stopped right now is where you want to push X, maybe a little further. If you wait too long, you're going to pull out the shovel too late and be stopped by the block as you're taking it out. You'll still get the block out of the way, but we'll slow you down, and we would like to have the extra time. When you jump, you're going to want to jump about where I'm stopped. If you jump while a little more forward, you're going to end up hitting the block in front of you, which will slow you down. If you jump too early, particularly if the green block was one block lower, you're going to hit your head on that block, slow your, down your jump, you're going to run into the block in front of you, which will slow you down more, and you really can't afford to keep doing that. Here you can see that there's two blocks blocking your way in a row, so you're going to have to use the shovel twice. You can actually push the X button before he's completely put away the shovel and he'll use it again. So you'll clear the first block, and about the time you're getting under the block of ice, you'll want to push X again like I do, and that way you won't get slowed down by the second block. Okay, so that's level one. Um, each level will be over whenever you get a thousand more points. However, you'll see a little bit of the level trailing at the end. Anyway, in this level, we're going to use the, bu uh, uh, yeah, the bubble, which you use by pushing C. We're also going to get a kind of spring pogo stick thing that you'll use by pushing V. Um, the bubble will prevent you from being slowed down, so we're going to use it whenever we're going over a hill or through mud, and we're going to use the pogo stick primarily to get over tree stumps. For these tall hills, you really have two choices. You can either use the pogo stick, which will get you effectively two jumps, um, basically to where the peak is, or you can jump a couple times, um, particularly if you're coming at the hill from the front. What, what's better to do is to try to get right on the peak and jump again, otherwise you'll roll down the hill and you can't actually jump while rolling. Alright, so that still wasn't too bad. Uh, now we're in level 3, which is clearly destruct a match. Uh, there's going to be a key thing to note later in the level, but I'll comment on it when we get there. Um, this level, you won't need the bubble at all. AAA can effectively jump a height of two blocks, otherwise you have to use the pogo stick to get higher up. Um, primarily, it's just going to be using your space bar and the V button for the pogo stick there will be a place where we may have to use the shovel, and uh, I'll get to that when we get there. Okay, so it's very important, uh, you can see at the very right edge of the screen, there's kind of a construction hat looking thing, a hard hat they're called, um, which will be activated by using the B button, like in boy. 
we have to be very lucky to be able to beat the level without it. So, the hard thing to do, especially when you're playing in low quality like I am right now, is seeing the hat far enough ahead. Um, we're actually going to be okay this time, but if you have too much altitude when you try to drop down, you'll actually skip over the hat. So sometimes you have to not jump and actually take a fall even though it'll slow you down and just use your shovel to dig through to make sure you absolutely get the hard hat. So uh, while I was talking about the hard hat, uh, we missed a little bit of the gameplay, but I didn't want to keep the video paused for too long. So the hard hat's used to prevent those falling blocks from making you lose a life. If you lose a life, you'll also kind of just stand there stupidly for a moment. Uh, which doesn't matter as much in this level, it'll be a bigger deal in the next level. But anyway, whenever you're on something really high, you'll want to use the hard hat anyway, just in case, because sometimes you won't be able to see a block coming down, or you'll be a mid-jump when a block comes down and hits you. Uh, just remember that uh, when you use another tool, you will put away the hard hat.